Hey, Pussy Little Pussy Net, new little video. Uh, on this one, it's just a little intro on my uh, my system, my communication. So there's an exercise going on right now. Uh, as you can see in the back there, this a little antenna. It's a temporary uh, system right now. I just I received it yesterday, so I needed to see how it works and stuff. So I'm still working on my radio. Uh, but yeah, there's an exercise going on right now, and so um, uh, I thought it would be a good time to try to see you know uh, how to catch up ham radios and stuff so I got my uh, Yesu uh, working up and um, I'm uh, checking a function on my radio but basically I can uh, right now I'm monitoring two uh, two uh, repeater that I can catch up here to uh, check their channel and it's pretty cool because basically uh, as soon as the squelch uh, goes on one I can I can catch so uh, even if uh, right now as you can see it's uh, silent every five seconds it goes on it um, also I'm checking uh, my batteries uh, I don't have my main battery this is my emergency battery and uh, what I found out is that when you put those uh, emergency batteries they, there's not as much uh, power uh, so I'm limited in uh, my communications and stuff so anyway I wanted to do a small <laughs> intro uh, this is the view I'm having. <laughs> it's not a nice day, but um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm playing with my stuff, and I will start a video on my um, communication plan. My introduction video was saying I uh, uh, when I did my last video on my um, that it was a ham and stuff. Uh, some a lot of a few people uh, answer. It seemed like they're interested in in. Uh, amateur radio and stuff so I thought I would I would make a little series as I'm saying I'm new to that journey so I would share my uh, basically building my communication plan uh, so this will be a, a, a small series I don't know exactly how, how long it's gonna be and stuff because it, uh, it comes and goes as, as I'm learning and I'm getting new to the hobby and stuff uh, but this is uh, basically the hardware that I have right now, part of my communication plan and how I uh, plan to use it. And you'll see there's still some gaps in between. Uh, so we'll start. Uh, so basically, my uh, like I mentioned in my past videos now, I work a lot like the uh, Urban Prepper does. I was trying to uh, separate my kits in three categories uh, my 72 hour bag my seven day bag uh, which would be like a bug out bag I think I guess the 72 bags would be my get home bag uh, but for me it works better if I have a time frame with it so I know that whatever I have in that bag is good for 72 hours minimum uh, the other ones is good for seven days minimum and for two peoples and stuff and so I find for the calculations will be better because for example if you have seven days for two people and uh, if you buy yourself then it becomes 14 days uh, so each uh, categories that I prepare now is aimed towards that uh, so in my 72 hours communication bag is this in mind I have 72 hours I'm out there how can I communicate with people uh, seven days what kind of communication I would like to do and stuff and then I have the two month uh, preparation uh, so for the 72 hours back basically again it's let's say there's riots or something like this and I'm not able to get home uh, there could be like a blackout or anyway it's a short disaster I would presume um, and so uh, the system that I would use uh, if I still have the uh, the use of either wireless or internet or my uh, <clears throat> sorry or or um, my phone is a system called Ecolink and basically as you can see how it works here is your phone becomes a ham radio in a certain way as on the two meter band so meaning that when you talk to repeaters uh, so the handhelds radios so there's the two meter and 70 70 years that usually you talks to it needs to be line of sight that means you need to see the only time that well it still worked line of sight but the time that you can kind of um, extend this reach is when you use repeater that means like I talk uh, so let's say I'm one meter from from a repeater and that's the maximum of my radio while well, I can still talk to somebody else uh, that is a meter from that um, 
that repeater because their radio can reach the repeater so basically we're talking through uh, this repeater right there and so Echolink used this but now I use the internet for that so what it means is that if I'm again connected to the internet or if I would have my radio and I can connect to a repeater I can send a message that will use so one of those repeater is connected to the internet use the internet and go out of the repeater so now not only that I can talk on um, a repeater to a repeater that means that my radio has to reach it but now with the echolink that means a repeater that is in Russia or in India or whatever that they have a repeater like this as long as the person is connected to that repeater I can talk to that person and so um, it's an app on my phone and uh, so it's very easy to use very convenient and so I have that as my as one of my system uh, the other system now that I carry as well uh, I have this already on my um, in my outdoor gear but now I was thinking well I might as well now carry it as well on my 72 hours so if I'm not hiking then I just put it in my bag and it's basically it's the spot but it's the spot connect so what's special with the spot connect first of all it's very small it's very easy to carry uh, but again using my phone uh, but uh, this time using the Bluetooth on my phone so what it means is that let's say I lose all communication so all the towers are down there's no internet I have no wireless so I cannot use Ecolink um, what I can use is spot and spot use satellite and so what I do is I can send uh, the problem with this though it's a one-way message so people cannot really send me message but they can receive my message but not only they receive my message they also receive my um, coordinates uh, so what I do is I take my phone uh, and it's basically a text message but you send it through to that uh, little device and that device connects to a satellite and then it sends so even if the grid goes down so even if the towers are down the satellite will still work and so with this um, so there's limitation also with this because uh, again if I'm inside build building or there's no I cannot have a reach on the um, the satellite then the device won't work but at least it extend my use of phone and I can send a message say I'm safe I'm on my way I'm there and then they can actually even track me so if somebody else let's say uh, my family they can track me on the uh, on the Google map uh, because they'll see my uh, coordinate and when it sends it sends a very good coordinate and when you click on the link uh, there's a page that opens and it's a map and it says exactly where you are and stuff uh, so that's that's now what I'm going to carry it's very small very portable that's why also already I carry it in my outdoor gear so it's not an, an extra purchase it's just now I'm going to be able carrying it in my 72 hour bag